Is it possible for someone to expect you to read their mind? Well, if you've ever dealt with a narcissist, this question might not seem so far-fetched. Welcome to the world of the narcissist, a world often shrouded in a fog of unspoken expectations and silent demands. One of the most common frustrations? Your perceived inability to simply know what they want and need without a single word spoken. Imagine the narcissist as the mind-meld master, a believer in the telepathic nature of perfect relationships. In their mind, your feelings, desires, and actions should be in perfect harmony with theirs, forming a constant unspoken pact where wishes are made manifest before they're even articulated. This is the ideal world of the narcissist, one where you're the hint whisperer, adept at interpreting the subtlest of signals. A sigh, a raised eyebrow, a flick of the wrist, they see these as intricate clues, silent triggers meant to prompt the right response from emotional support to grand gestures. If you miss these cues, it's not just an oversight, it's an affront of personal proportions. In this world, you're also entrusted with the decoder ring delusion where you're expected to decipher their personal code, a maze of past experiences, veiled references, and unspoken grudges. If you fail to crack this enigma, it's not just a disappointment, it's proof of your inadequacy, evidence that you lack true understanding. And let's not forget the selective amnesia siphon. While you're expected to remember every preference and whim with flawless accuracy, the narcissist conveniently develops selective amnesia when it comes to their own shortcomings. Past missteps vanish into the ether, leaving only their current desires and frustrations on the immediate agenda. In the narcissist's perfect world, you're not just a partner, but an extension of their will, an emotional puppeteer where your emotions, reactions, and choices are flawlessly orchestrated by their unspoken cues, transforming you into a marionette dancing to their silent tune. So, the narcissist's perfect relationship is one where their partner operates on a telepathic level, aligning perfectly with their desires and actions without the need for verbal communication. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mind of the narcissist in the upcoming scenes. But it's not just about anticipating needs. The narcissist speaks in a language of subtlety, expecting you to understand their silent cues. Imagine being in a foreign country where you don't speak the language and everyone is frustrated with you for not understanding. Welcome to the world of interacting with a narcissist. These individuals often communicate through a series of subtle hints, a raised eyebrow, a meaningful sigh, or a pointed silence. They believe their emotions, desires, and frustrations are evident in these nonverbal cues. As a result, they expect those around them to read and respond to these hints appropriately, effectively becoming the hint whisperer. But why the subtlety, you may ask? It's not just about being understood, it's about the power dynamic. The narcissist thrives on the feeling of superiority that comes from others struggling to understand their unspoken language. It's a form of control, a way to keep you guessing and perpetually off balance. But what happens when you miss a cue, overlook a sigh, or misinterpret a glance? It's not merely seen as a misunderstanding or an oversight. To the narcissist, it's a personal affront, a sign of disrespect. It's as if you've intentionally disregarded their feelings and needs. This is where the narcissist's perception becomes a distorted mirror of reality. They perceive your inability to understand their silent cues as a failure on your part, rather than recognizing it as a communication issue. This failure then becomes a weapon in their arsenal, a tool they use to guilt and manipulate, further deepening the power dynamic in their favor. The danger here is the erosion of self-esteem that can occur over time. When you're constantly blamed for misunderstandings and expected to decode the narcissist's subtle language, it can lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. Failing to decode these intricate clues can lead to the narcissist feeling personally slighted, creating a rift in the relationship. But remember, it's not your responsibility to become a mind reader. You are not at fault for not understanding their unspoken language. It's essential to establish clear communication and set boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. Remembering every single preference and whim of a narcissist is a must, but don't expect the same courtesy in return. This is the paradoxical world of the narcissist's selective memory. In this realm, a narcissist's past transgressions conveniently fade into oblivion while your every misstep is etched in stone. They remember what they want, when they want, and how they want. It's a memory bank that's as selective as it is self-serving. It's not just about forgetting their own faults, though. Their memory is a one-way street and it's always their way. They expect you to remember their favorite movie, the exact words they used in a conversation two weeks ago, or how they like their coffee. Yet when it comes to recalling their own promises, missteps, or inconsistencies, 
their memory becomes as elusive as a desert mirage. This selective memory isn't a simple case of forgetfulness. It's a carefully curated narrative, one that paints them in the best light while subtly shifting the blame onto you. They forget their own shortcomings, but will remember in vivid detail every instance where you didn't meet their unspoken expectations. This selective amnesia serves a dual purpose. Firstly, it absolves them of any responsibility for their actions. If they don't remember it, it didn't happen, right? Secondly, it places you in a constant state of self-doubt. If they remember something one way and you remember it differently, who's right? The truth is, it's not about who's right or wrong. It's about the power dynamics at play. By controlling the narrative, they control the relationship. They become the puppet master and you the puppet, always dancing to their tune, always trying to keep up, always on edge. The selective memory of a narcissist serves to put them in a position of power, leaving their partner feeling inadequate and constantly on edge. It's a sly game of manipulation, but understanding this tactic is the first step towards reclaiming your power and setting healthy boundaries. In the world of a narcissist, you're not just a partner, but an extension of their will. This is the essence of their desire to become what we might call the emotional puppeteer. It's not about a shared journey or mutual understanding. Instead, it's about a one-sided dance where the narcissist leads and you, the partner, are expected to follow, no questions asked. Imagine a marionette, its strings held taut, every movement dictated by the puppeteer above. This is the ideal scenario for a narcissist, where your emotions, reactions, and choices are flawlessly orchestrated by their unspoken cues. They pull a string, you respond. It's a silent symphony of control and manipulation designed to keep the narcissist at the center stage, basking in the spotlight. Every sigh, every gesture, every silent stare is a cue, an unspoken command for you to react in a specific way. And should you miss their cue, or worse, respond in a way that doesn't align with their expectation, the narcissist views it as a personal affront, a failure on your part to understand their unspoken language. This manipulation is not about fostering a healthy, balanced relationship. It's about satisfying their own needs and desires, about maintaining an illusion of control and dominance. It's about transforming you into a marionette, dancing to their silent tune, your emotional strings pulled at their whim. But remember, you're not a marionette, and they are not puppeteers. You have your own emotions, your own desires, your own agency. You are not an extension of their will, but a unique individual with your own thoughts, feelings, and needs. It's crucial to recognize this manipulation for what it is and take steps to reclaim your emotional autonomy. In the end, it's about setting boundaries, about promoting open, honest communication, and about prioritizing your own emotional well-being. It's about stepping out of the narcissist's shadow, cutting those invisible strings, and dancing to your own tune. This manipulation turns the partner into a marionette, dancing to the silent tune of the narcissist. But remember, every dance can change and every puppet can cut its strings. Understanding the narcissist's expectations can be draining, but it's a crucial step in managing their unrealistic demands. You're not dealing with your average Joe or Jane here. These are individuals who often operate in their own reality, a world governed by a unique set of rules that they, and only they, understand. But here's the kicker. You are not a mind reader, and that's okay. You're not expected to be. It's important to remember that the narcissist's expectations are not a reflection of your worth or capability. They're a reflection of their own distorted sense of self-importance and emotional irresponsibility. So how do you navigate this labyrinth of unspoken demands and veiled references? The first step is healthy communication. This involves setting clear expectations and expressing your own needs and wants. It might seem like a daunting task, especially when dealing with someone who is used to having their way. But remember, your voice matters. Your feelings matter. You are not an extension of their desires, but a person with your own valid emotions and needs. Setting clear boundaries is another crucial step. Boundaries are not just about saying no, but about defining what is acceptable and what isn't. They're about protecting your own emotional and mental well-being, even when the narcissist tries to blur the lines. Prioritizing your own well-being is the final and perhaps most important step. It's easy to get lost in the narcissist's world, to feel like you're constantly treading water in a sea of their expectations. But you are not responsible for their happiness. You are responsible for your own. Remember, dealing with a narcissist can be challenging and often emotionally exhausting. But by understanding their expectations, setting clear boundaries, and prioritizing your own well-being, you can navigate this complex dynamic. 
By understanding their desired narrative, you can equip yourself with the tools to navigate this complex dynamic and prioritize your own well-being in the process.